ball control, don't make a lot of errors across the board. So we are certainly in for a treat to close out this tournament. And in dark blue is going to be that sports performance team. The baby blue and red lettering is the A5 Mizuno team out of Atlanta. They get the first point of the 16 Open Championship. And it's really no surprise that A5 Mizuno goes to their big middle number 12, Boney, on the first play in transition. They're going to get her activated early and often. They want to force Brooklyn, Brooklyn Borum and all the other outsides for sports performance to really think about what they're doing on blocking. On the slide was a big swing from Talone. A reset here in the middle. And a lefty soft swing there. Let's change up from Borum. And the middle. The attack just off. And Amaya looking for the touch. She had the right angle going on on that approach. Just looks like the ball was set a little bit too low for her arm swing. Needs to be a little bit higher. Off-speed attempt there from Brooklyn Borum. And three straight points for the team out of Atlanta. And these two teams, Aaron, actually met back in March. They played in the semis at Bluegrass, and it went three sets then when I talked to Coach Gabe Aramian. He said that his team was down 14-9 in the final and came back and won it. So they're so evenly matched. Yeah, and you'll notice that they, they play very similar styles of volleyball too, and that's what makes the game so much fun to watch because you're going to see kind of both teams battle on offense, huge swing out of the left side by Lemons. But both teams just have so many different options, blocks a little bit too late, gives her free reign to really swing wherever she wants. Joust at the net is won again by Lemons. Back-to-back -back points for Ebony Lemons. That's head coach, uh, Gabe Aramian, watching on as his team continues to tack on to its lead. Calm guy. You've seen him here year after yeah, year, we right? Have. Yeah, we've seen him be very calm. We've seen him be very excited. You know, he's just one of those, those really, really technical coaches. Puts a lot of pressure on the girls to be technically sound. Same with Vote on the other side. That's why, again, this is going to probably be one of the best matches we see all tournament. Lemon shot too deep, so we're going to have a side out for sports performance. A team out of Illinois. And this group, the core of them, four players on this team, have won back-to-back -back national titles. They're going for their third in a row here today. They find themselves in a bit of an early hole. Aaron, how do they start clawing out of this? Yeah, you have to control the net, serve tough against a t uh, an A5 team that can pass the ball really well. And then you get slammed there with uh, another block from Jackie Boney. And we're going to have a timeout to kind of settle everything down. And just look at the hand placement of Boney. That's a middle that gets it. See how her hands are working interdependently. She's, cha she's taking away different areas of the court against a big right-sided attack from Bro Brooklyn Borum. Nice little water break there for the A5 Mizuno head coach, Gabe Aramian, his team with a six-point advantage, and they'll keep serving Peyton Stoner here, the defensive specialist, dribbling the ball out. That one, a mistake into the net. Let's see if sports performance can uh, capitalize here on this opportunity. A very rare error by Boney. Borum, Brooklyn Borum on the end line there. She has to be very, very careful of where she's serving the ball. You do not want to serve to the libero and get a perfect pass for your team. Two clean serves for Hall. On the floor, she couldn't pick that one up. So the point to Mizuno. And that's just a great heads-up play by Cal 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 pardon me, Calissa Green. Setter is back row. Ball's tight to the net. Green's right there just to dump it over. Good awareness at the net. And there's two other matches going on inside the gym. So you'll hear sometimes some erroneous <laughs> whistles, which could get confusing. 
Uh, this, these two teams obviously poised and keep playing here. Off-speed attack. This one getting set to the outside. It gets over. The dump nearly successful for sports performance. A little more power behind that one. And into the net was Mizuno. Point. Sports performance. And Green a little frustrated with that. That was a good slowdown off the block, especially on a tough outside hitter like Emily Wilson. Just have to stay out of the net when you come down. Big swing and better dig there from Leah Bylet. Block goes up and it's good for sports performance. Number 85, Ariel Maya. These high numbers got me tripping a little bit, Aaron. <laughs> yeah, and you know, it, it's, it's amazing that you see A5 Mizuno come out of this match with some fire under their feet, and it looks like the momentum has completely shifted over to the sports performance side for now. They've Everything going right for sports performance other than that tip, but they're, they're a team you can never rule out. They just hang in there in the match. They have, a, they have just as much offense as A5 Mizuno does. So you can't can't give them anything extra. And the power keeps coming. That one tipped yeah. off of Mizuno. So a well-earned point, I know. Coach Aramian is a little upset there. Uh, and from where we were, I thought there was a touch. So it's so you can sometimes you can hear it if it's really really distinct. Couldn't see anything from the net cam. Big time block. Couldn't be denied. And right in front of us, Aaron. Mariah Haslip with the major touch. And good timing on the block. She's floating her a little bit too much. A little out of control on her body, but just does has really good discipline with her hands. Presses the ball over the net. And a rare error here from A5 Mizuno. So the gap closing in. Four point difference here in the best of three games of this uh, 16 Open National Championship. You're inside the HP Fieldhouse. Despina Barton and Aaron Campbell in the booth with you here today. An attack from the left, the right side by number 47, Breland Borum. Goes off the hands. Easy kill, easy point for. Sports performance. Yeah, Borum. There's actually two of them out there, Breland and Brooklyn. You got a set of twins wearing number 47 and 66. First time the two have been able to play on the same club team together. Nobody could have stopped Lemons on that attack. And this is the best rotation for A5 Mizuno. This is the, the rotation that came out really, really hot. Good front row. If they want to build the lead back again, this is certainly the rotation to do it. Feeding the right side. We'll go back row the other way. Good dig by A5. Just couldn't stay in bounds. So the point to the visiting team. And Sports Performance just saw their 16 premier team win a national title. Coach Eric Vogt was on the court for that one. Hoping to double up here before they leave Orlando and head back to Illinois. Tip made at the net from Boney. And just a heads up play by Boney. Saw everyone crashing from the left side of the court. Makes it easy, dumps it to the right side. No one there. Easy kill. Oh, great dig. Oh, so close. Dupes just sitting under that ball, trying to get underneath it, make a play out of it, just goes out of bounds. Nice swing on the left side, or the right side of the court by Borum. Dupes nearly splits it. Lemon with a beautiful swing. Two good digs by Rodriguez on the sports performance side. Oh. And off the hands of... A5 Mizuno, so the point, Meyer.
It's 15-13 here in the first set of the 16 Open National Championship. A5 Mizuno from Atlanta, Georgia. Oh. And the play at the net from the feisty kids from Illinois. Huge size differential on this too. Boney very tall, running that slide against two smaller players. Brooklyn Borum just pressing those hands over. But here comes Boney back to back. I like when setters go back to their hitters. That ball went straight down, 10 foot line. Jackie Boney, just a machine out there. Will be playing at Michigan in a few more years. Already committed to the Wolverines. Peyton Stoner will try to duplicate her serve. Oh, great dig by Stoner. Attack comes on the outside. Bodies are flocking. Mary o Emily Morgan with the kill. Dig location. We don't talk about it enough, but it is so critical in transition. That ball was placed perfectly for number 10, Green, to go in and set that ball to set up her outside in transition. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and listen to the huddle here. So they're going to her every time. So we got to start establishing other options. When the ball gets all the way outside the antenna, Emily, you got to go to your left, not your right. Okay, like that last swing. She couldn't hit to you in the middle back because you shifted over in front of the antenna. Move to your left. Hey, we're playing way better now. No matter what happens in the set, let's get momentum going forward. You know, if we push right now, we're catching up. That was head coach Eric Vogt. His team trailing right now by four points. Aaron, is there room here to get this first oh, set? Oh, yeah, of course. I, th I think there is. You know, I th nothing's impossible in the sport of volleyball, especially in rally scoring. Outside again, beautiful dig from Rodriguez. They tried to counter on the other side. It's point sports performance. There you see one of the twins, Breland Borum. It kind of the Borum family has the winning combo. They have the setter and the outside. Ideal scenario for for any parent watching volleyball. Our kids get a lot of touches. Back row attack is successful there for Brooklyn Borum. What I love about these two teams is it's very all business. You know, that doesn't mean that they don't have any fun, but they are very focused, ready to win a national championship. And that point right there ends a 3-0 run by Sports Performance. Jackie Boney with a clean serve. We'll feed the outside for Sports Performance. Trying to get the ball up and out of the net was Emily Wilson. And good job by Green being that offensive setter. That's a great dig, great pass. Two tight to the net. Joust the blocker. Good swing. Good Close save. to the net. Yep. We'll try it again. Oh, Send it further outside. Choice. Huge dig by Rodriguez. Oh. Back row attack. The whistle is made as we have a double touch against sports performance. But brilliant setting decision by Calista Green for A5 Mizuno. Pulls that block to the right side, leaves her outside hitter one on one. Borum's up to the front row and becomes really effective really quickly. Or excuse me, Emily Wilson. Just got to get behind it. Bodies flying ball back out to Morgan. And the block is put down by Sports Performance. That's a great in-play in decision change. The first swing, Meyer gave up too much line. She took one more step, got a rooftop block. And finding open hardwood floor is Emily Wilson. Now just a point separates the two in this first set of the 16 Open National Championship. And of course, we're going to have a timeout called. 
Oh, okay. We just got to take advantage of it. And we got to get out of this rotation. All right, you have to put the ball on the floor. Do not hit into the block. All right, if you get slide, okay, make sure you see the block hitting in the right place. Okay, let's go. Come on. That was Gabe Aramian for eight by Mizuno. His team with the one point advantage. Just looking to side out here. Yeah, and coaches know what their strengths and weaknesses are. This is a weaker rotation for A5 Mizuno. He's in his, you know, this is row five. Setter is the last rotation in the front row. They need to get out of it. Activate the outside, activate the middle. Great swing by Hayslip on the right side on that nice slide. You know, sometimes I think setters get in the mentality where they need to keep everything in front or they need to keep everything really tight. Keep spreading that ball pin to pin. Keep opening up that court. Make those middles work laterally as much as possible. Nice recovery on the tip from Rodriguez. The power swing and finish. Emily Wilson is clutch. And it's not often that we actually give an assist to a middle, but hey, it's, you know, it's the 16 open final. We might as well give a little assist to Ariel Amaya. Great swing by Wilson on the outside. Coming back at you, trying to dump it over. A5 was ready for it. And a whistle. Looked like we had some contact at the net. A freebie point for A5. Katie Petal, the DS. Serve was clean. Oh. And gotta again. Pull, yeah. Just got to pull her off the net. It's too tight. Even if you want to run that slide one with Ariel Amaya, you still have to keep the ball off the net. Cannot trap your setter. Set point for A5, Ooh. and they get it on an ace. Katie Petal will help this team from Atlanta close out the first set. Beautiful serve for A5 Mizuno as they are now one set away from taking on their 16 Open National Championship. Stick around. We have the second set on the way. Twelve straight days of volleyball and this one, the 16 Open National Championship being decided here inside the HP Fieldhouse. It's A5 Mizuno that took the first set, but Aaron, we saw some tremendous play from the libero on the other side. Yeah, and I really think Alexis Rodriguez was the X factor to help sports performance come back in that first set. She helped them get some momentum, helped them get some good, powerful digs, kept rallies alive, and helped carry the emotional side. And even Coach Vote talked about that in the in one of the the huddles. He said, you know, I don't care if we win or lose. I mean, obviously he wants to win, but he's saying I just want to build some momentum to carry us into that second set. And I think Rodriguez really was the leader of that charge. And in that second half of that first set, just a totally different sports performance team than what we saw up to 15 points. This is a best of three sets. A5 Mizuno took care of that first one. We're going to show you some numbers, though, to help break down everything in that first set. These are actually the numbers for the tournament. Yeah, this is a huge tournament over the last 12 days and over 2,800 teams. It brings 100,000 spectators here to the area and 39 national champions get crowned, Aaron. We've been so fortunate to see a lot of the action here. Yeah, and it's, it's a long tournament and these girls are feeling it. Two venues, you have Wide Rural Sports, and, and Despina, you actually had the opportunity to go to the convention center and see the madness that is the convention center. It's a totally different world. You think that there's a lot of whistles in here? You go to the convention center, all you hear are whistles, and all you see are balls flying all over the place. It's, it's insane how big this tournament is. Nearly 200 courts inside the Orange County Convention Center. And that's in waves of groups. That's not just all at once. That's waves and waves of teams and age groups and divisions and everything. It's just, it's incredible. I mean, this event still holds the Guinness World Record. Oh, great dig. For largest volleyball competition in the world. So to see it all culminate here on championship court, look, the stands are packed. These girls... Some of them have medals around their neck. They're here to show support. 
see some great volleyball. And I know for the sports performance team that's hanging around, the Premier team just won their own national title about an hour or so ago. So they're hoping that the 16 Open team can kind of follow up in their shoes. And Eric Vogt told me how important it's going to be to control the first contact. Unfortunately, in that play, they were not able to do that. Oh, great heads up. Oh, back row block. Yep. So number 18, Zayna Meyer goes up to the net, tries to keep that play alive. She's back row, so she really can't go over the plane of the net. Despite it looking like she's trying to save the ball, officials called it a block. Great dig out of the back row by Dupes. Big swing denied at the net. Meyer a part of that blocking duo. Alexis Rodriguez, who we featured when we came back after that first set, will be going to Nebraska in a few years. Putting on a clinic, chasing down all these balls here on championship court. And then the reward there as Brooklyn Borum gets the point. Yeah, and you know, the last few times we've seen Borum here on championship court over the past few years, we've seen her unleash her power. You definitely want to get four hands in front of her because she just has a whip of an arm swing. Puts a lot of heat on the ball. Good thought there from Boney. The dump nearly successful. We'll get a back row attack. Rally still going, and now it's not. Jackie Boney connects. And, and the last few times that Green and Boney have tried to connect at the net, there's only been a tip. There's been a little bit of a misfire. But in transition, anytime you can push the ball, force the ball to the middle, you're going to score points because it's just hard to defend a middle attack. Oh, great dig. Oh, yeah, that's a double. Good effort, though, by, by Chalone on the, on the sideline of the court, just dishing out one hand to keep that ball alive. It's a tied ball game, friends. 4-4 here in the second set. You're watching the 16 Open National Championship between A5 Mizuno out of Georgia and Sports Performance out of Illinois. Everybody's in sunny Florida here on this Friday afternoon as another point goes in this man's favor. And Coach Ramian getting a little frustrated with his front row, hitting into the block too much. They're not hitting around the block. They're not being smart with their attacks trying to point out what's available. And it just looks like Talone on that perimeter defense, the tendency as a middle back is to want to creep in, stay really tight, try to read the seam and be on that 10 foot line. But you have to stay deep for plays like that. The block's going to close, especially on a swing block. So you want to stay very deep into the court to get those touches. Oh, great save. We're still playing. Ball on the outside. Rodriguez sets him up. Opposite attack. Keep it going that way. Ping pong at the net. And then the finisher oh. does stay down. Emily Wilson. And kudos, kudos to Zayna Meyer. Zayna Meyer runs, gets the ball, comes back in, goes to the net, blocks, falls, gets set. Gets blocked, gets set again. Talk about a workhorse on the right side. Good job by Zayna Meyer, number 18. Pretty much doing everything in that rally. And she's also committed to BYU. And we can see why they want her, too. Yeah, you're hearing a lot of perennial powers in volleyball. The collegiate volleyball game being called today. Nebraska, they've won a few championships here and there. You know, Florida State, they're pretty good, you know. No, no, you know, whatever. They're pretty good. Nebraska, BYU, these are all big league programs. These aren't just, you know, D Division I schools. These are competitors in the NCAA volleyball sport. Nice tip and dump there from Emily Wilson. Talk about her ability to kind of change things up on a dime. Yeah, and she's just super athletic. You know, she, rec she has a good awareness of her body, too. She understands if she's going to get her feet to the ball, if she breaks her core, if she's not staying super, super tall. She doesn't... She knows how to adjust her arm swing to make sure that she's going to get the ball over the net. And it's going to keep going her way while she's up there on that outside. 
Good communication there for Sports Performance, and they earn themselves another point in the lead. And when you're a little bit tight to the net like Talon was, she came in with that left shoulder super strong. She should try to go up and use those hands, try to tool it off the block. And right now we're getting everything we want from Emily Wilson. Nice pike. You can see how activated her core is on that block. Ball goes straight down. The last two times, excuse me, the last time these two teams met was back in March. It went three sets. A5 Mizuno was on the winning front of that one. And they lead here in the 16 Open Championship after taking that first set. And Hayslip's got this super long arm swing, and it's really deceptive. You can't read where she's going to attack the ball. And all of a sudden, as she come, as she's almost like on her back pull, that arm swing comes up and whips around, so the blockers can't read what the direction of the attack's going to be. Pedal lays out. The attack goes off the hands of Brooklyn Borum, and it's a point for A5. Pedal will continue to serve. She had the ace that closed out that first set. And into the net call against Sports Performance. 10-9, A5. Pedal a little surprised she's still serving. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right, Coach. I played a lot of games over yeah. the last four days, okay? <laughs> Wilson oh, back to work. Great dig by Dupes. Oh. Mason gets tipped off and out of bounds off to loan. They get that point back. And that's the challenge with Hayslip's arm swing. We've seen kind of the benefits of that long arm swing, but we've also seen the downfall or the weakness of it. You don't have any chance to slow it down. You don't have any chance to mix it up just because of the technical aspects of that arm swing. So you have to be really smart about the shots you make. You can't just swing fast and hope for the best. You have to be really smart with what happens. Ball over, go to the right side. All right, let's it's back set. to Lemons. Back row attack off that white tape. Keeping it coming. What a play, this one being batted down at the net. And Talone super active in that rally. Great, perfect arm swing, perfect shot, easy kill. With the left touch, hits the hardwood. You gotta get points, I mean, it's not pretty. <laughs> it doesn't have to be, honestly, it just has to hit the floor. You know, that left hand, that's really hard to hit on that outside. Good job by Breland Borum just to keep the play alive. Gets a nice kill out of it. Lemons trying to get through the block. Oh, great dig by Dupes. Gosh. Holy moly. One-handed behind her back. Behind the back. Gets a three-pass. Like... That's just crazy. Look at the where look at that dig location. Your center didn't even have to move. One hand. Just brilliant. Good great dig by Dupes. And Boney had to finish it for her, right? She'd worked that darn hard to get that ball for her. Well, and that's why volleyball is the ultimate team sport. Like your teammate gives everything on every play. She's bleeding when she stands up. Like you don't want to be the one that makes that makes the error that gives the point away. Like you want to execute the play. And when Lemons in the, is in the front row, talk about execution. She's just been unstoppable, super efficient for A5 Mizuno. Let's go ahead and listen in here. There, it's pretty clear they're going to make really good plays. Like they're going full speed. So you've got to go for every ball. Don't just make a play to make a play. If you think you can put your teammates in a good position to score, put them in a good position to score. We're going to have to calm down. 
I keep talking about bringing our hitters inside on the outside because they camp here. We have not gotten a clean swing on the outside yet. So we're either going to throw in the back row or the right side more. That was Eric Vogt, the head coach for sports performance. He leaves behind a nine-month pregnant wife, Gretchen. She's watching on and cheering on. He told us that he got a pass to be here, but if the baby comes, he'll be pulling double duty when he returns home. That ball is in for Brooklyn Borum. Coach is happy, yeah. <laughs> it's all starting to click upstairs. <laughs> And he had a good point. You know, so far, A5 Mizuno has really slowed down a powerful offense in sports performance. It's all, you know, sometimes when coaches run a very Olympic style, they can kind of trap themselves because if the block's setting up outside, if they're camping on your hitters, you don't have anything in your system that's going to pull, that's going to run into those seams. So you maybe consider adding some 32s to the game, run some 7s, which is a slide that's a little bit farther inside, kind of make those players work. And that's back-to-back -back super sharp cross-court shots by Brooklyn Borum. She's figured out where the weakness in the, de in the defense is, but keep in mind you have dupes in that left back. She probably won't let that happen again. Breland just joining this team. The 16 opens after playing for the 16 Premier. And an unfortunate error there from Zayna Meyer into the net. We'll keep A5 Mizuno with a two-point lead. Beautiful hands from Calista Green. Uh, and Hay slip in the net. Super aggressive on that. Stayed at the net, did her assignment, just has to control her forearms a little bit better. Brooklyn Bourne with the serve. All right, let's go right side, see what you got. Oh, great save by Breland. Yeah, that ball's in. Tracking it down, Katie Petal. Go high, go high. Good swing, good dig. Attacks keep coming, back row. Petal again. Rodriguez calls for it. And we're going to Wilson. And we know how well that works. And good hitters hit through blocks. Great hitters hit around blocks or over blocks, as we just saw from Emily Wilson. And that is not a short block to go over. Great arm swing, super athletic, super powerful. Great outside player, number 78, Emily Wilson. And now she's back in front row. She did about just about everything when she was out here last rotation. And she's picking up right where she left off. Back-to-back -back blocks, just being really heads up and tracking her hitter. Hitter comes around for the slide, stays in front, makes sure, makes sure her hands are pressed over the net. Sports performance with the lead now. They trail after dropping that first set. And Coach Ramian mad, thinks that there's a, a touch on the block. Went, the ball went off the block and out of bounds. Up official says no, never touched it, only stayed in the net. Uh, yeah, good call by the officials. No touch. All right, it looks like things are settled up here on the court. The, the point will stand. And hopefully the frustration will dissolve. Some more volleyball. Oh, nice, what a dunk. Great play by Rodriguez. And then <laughs> this is the exact same play. Emily Wilson again attacking that back right corner. Yeah, and I just think that Dupes, despite being one of the better liberos, I just think she's, she's too far shallow. That ball, there's been four, five, six, seven attacks in that same zone that I just, I think that should, that should be covered in perimeter defense. Let's go back to this huddle here, sports performance. I'll sit by the pin. They've literally said, we're going to sit by the pin. We're going to own the outside on the pin. So if you guys come inside, it'll just be a high ball inside. You can go up and turn line if you want. But then the five, six, that angle back there is great. The Libro should start cheating this way. Then you could hit. Keep trying to use our middles and our rights. All 
All right, Aaron, sports performance in the driver's seat. How do they close this out? Yeah, just like the way that they've done. I like that Coach votes talking about kind of pulling that outside in a little bit more, give her some line opportunity. I do think that A5 Mizuno is going to make some adjustments on that, that cross-court shot. Great blocking, great awareness at the net by number 67, Ellie Hall. Not even letting A5 Mizuno get a true swing on the ball. And catches Stoner in the back row. A little bit off balance. Tables have flipped here. As A5 Mizuno took that first set. They'll get this point. But the last time these two met, we talked about it. It went three. There's just so much talent on the court. What is going to be that difference maker? Yeah, I think whoever is going to control the net and slow down the attacks. All you have to do as a blocker, you don't always have to get a rooftop. You either want to channel the ball or you want to slow the ball down to free an opportunity. That's a great dig. Free your offense or free your defense to have a free ball situation. Good, Good dig. Hands. That was Breland Morham. Outside again. That uh, one pushed just out of bounds from Wilson. It's the right idea, though. You know, a lot of times the tendency for an outside outside hitter is you want, if you want to go line, you turn your shoulders or you turn your hand. A lot of times outside hitters will do both. They just need to pick one. We'll try the right side attack this go round. Same thing on the opposite end. That ball's staying up in the air awfully long. Oh, great tip. Great job by Rodriguez. Ball's still up. Oh my goodness. Watch the dump. And all right, Mariah. K-slip was like, ah, oh, let's get this point settled. No messing around. Cuts the lead to one. Self-inflicted wound. Oh, yeah. We haven't seen very many service errors at all. Honestly, we haven't seen a lot of errors, period, in this match. Very tight match so far. Very efficient. Only three and four service errors, and we're almost closing out the second set. Sports performance closing in on potentially snagging their first set. We'll have a timeout called here. Hey, got a side out. This rotation and uh, one other, uh, got to find a way. If you're the hitters, find a way to freaking score, okay? We came back much worse, just today, okay? You guys gotta push, let's go. Fight on three, one, two, three, fight! Hey, you have a lot of time on the pass, too. The ball's in the air a long time. Well, he's got some points there, Aaron. And it's not life or death for A5 Mizuno after taking that first set. But you, uh, you know as an athlete, you wanna settle things as early as possible. Yeah. Especially when you're in Orlando on holiday. You want to go out and enjoy it, right? Now, a lot of these girls, they'll leave here and go play more volleyball at USA VJOs. What is, break that down. USA that. VJOs, okay. <laughs> USA Volleyball Junior Olympics. That's, that's what it is. <laughs> it's, it's volleyball slang. It's fine. She talks so fast sometimes. <laughs> I got to stop her. Oh, called the touch. Yeah, up, that's a good call. That ball was a little bit too high. Up official overrode the line judge. <laughs> and here's Coach Aramian showing us the differential. It's all right. They cleaned it up. The attack still coming on the outside, dropping out of bounds, and another point for Emily Wilson. And Emily Wilson probably has the pick of pick of any school she wants to go to. We're seeing so many facets of her game. Super powerful, tall, blocks well. A school is going to be very lucky to get her as an outside. And they're going to keep feeding her. Lemons gets that ball up. And the play is finished off by number 85, Ariel Amaya. And what's funny is Emily Wilson is actually significantly shorter 
or taller than Ariel Amaya. You can see the difference as they stand next to each other, but what Ariel Amaya doesn't have in height, she has in springs in her legs. She's so athletic. Ooh, off the hands of Rodriguez. A well-earned point there from Annabella Talon. And it's rare that Rodriguez doesn't make a perfect dig. And you beat her just with power. Impressive. Can't serve the libero because that's what happens. You cannot serve a Division I, probably all AAU All-American libero in serve-receive. You have to force your opponent. If you're trying to come back, you have to force the serve to someone, maybe a front row hitter that's in the back row passing. You cannot serve the libero, both sides. It just makes it too easy. Force your opponent to be uncomfortable and serve away from the libero. Set point as we just saw Jackie Boney kill it in the middle. Her team hanging on for dear life. They won the first set. Don't want this one to get out of reach. What a dig by Dupes. Ball stays up long. The ball into the net and that is set point. Sports Performance Elite hangs on to force a third set here in the 16 Open National Championship. Much more of this incredible volleyball on the way. First one to 15 when we return here on Championship Court. Stick around. All right, friends, we get a third set. What a treat here in the 16 Open National Championship Sports Performance, putting on a performance themselves in that second set, 25-22. Now in the third set, it's the first to 15. We'll see a bench swap at the eight-point mark. But for you, Aaron, what is it going to take to win this thing outright? Well, first things first, both teams have to stop serving the ball to the best passer on the court. You have to force your opponent out of system, especially when you consider and you look at the, the setting distribution on both sides of the net. The setters have done a great job of quarterbacking the offense and putting the ball to everyone on the front line. But you have to simplify the game. Playing defense against a really offensively sound team you want to make it as simple as possible. When you serve tough, you force your team out of system, which means you only limit them to one or two options rather than three or four. So serve tough, own the net, and stop serving the libero, both sides. And we talked about the history between these two teams last meeting in March, going three, go figure here. And then it was A5 Mizuno that came back from being down 14 to nine to pull up off the upset. I don't know if history will repeat itself, but Aaron Campbell and Despina Barton here in the booth, we're here to walk you through it all. Yeah, and it's just, you know, this is what you expect. It's the last match we get to broadcast. It's the last match of the tournament on championship court. You know, you want, you want it to go the extra mile. You want it to be the marathon match, and we couldn't expect, we couldn't, we couldn't get a better match than these two teams going head to head in three sets. And there's so much talent on the court, but for everyone keeping up at home, Sports Performance, the 16 elite team, there's four members that have won national championships in the 14 Open, 15 Open, and now going for 16 Open. So a three-peat on this court. A lot of pride and a lot of talent. Off speed. Attack works. Good job by Borum on the outside. Just taking a little bit off. We know she has all the power in that heavy arm swing. Just able to pull a little bit of seam off that. That's really the only drawback about Boney and Hayslip. They have these super long arm swings. It allows the block to set up a lot they have more time to set up on that. If that right elbow is up in the air and they just pop that ball on top, they're going to beat the block every single time. Annabella Talone hearing her number called, splitting the defense on the other side to earn A5 Mizuno their first point of the set. This is how the kills match up, Aaron. Yeah, evenly matched 21-23. Blocks, sports performance is leading significantly with 9-2. 
A5 Mizuno putting the pressure on the service line with four aces, hitting errors, very low on both sides. I'm telling you, this is a very efficient and technical match today in the 16 Open. Oh, that's a great spot. Oh, oh my gosh, if my middles would do that in high school. Dear Lord. <laughs> Just brilliant. It looks like it's a rainbow, but look how tight and sucked in that defense is. Everybody expects Boney to slam that ball on the 10-foot line. She just puts the nice nice dish into the deep corner. She gets a little fist pump to go with her. And the kill comes right at them, courtesy Zion Meyer. You see how late that arm swing is? You see how long that draw is? If you go in, as you have to have a shorter arm swing on that approach. See how long that is? If she just keeps that elbow up nice and high and just whips that thing around, she's not going to tape. She's going to get clean contact every time. A5 Mizuno evening the score with that last point. 4-4 here. And set number three, the 16 Open National Championship. Wilson back in the front row. 18 attacks from the other end. Morgan. In the middle. Oh, great Kept play. Alive. Dump it, dump it, dump it. Oh. That one back out to Morgan. And off the hands of Mizuno. The gym is lighting up. And Zayna Meyer, keep in mind, this is a right-sided attacker. She hit, she had kills on the left side. She had kills. She sets. She kind of does it all. Super impressed by number 18 on the right side. Oh. And Borum's right. mad. Yep. <laughs> hey, slip. Delivering quite a dagger. And you know it's a powerful swing when there's a defender right there, but she can't get her hands out fast enough for the defense, for the platform. Ball played at the net. Right side is Push back. Great cross. Good discipline. Block at the net, and it's Emily Wilson. And this game is so fast, it looks like our cameramen are having a hard time keeping up with all this craziness because these girls are playing at such an amazing tempo. Talone going to work on that right side, but Emily Wilson putting on a blocking clinic from the left side of the court. That one pushed back from Talone. Wilson again. Alone, big dig by Rodriguez. Back row attack. Here it comes. Ooh, yeah. And caught him off guard. Very rare that Peyton Stoner and Emery dupes in the back row for A5 Mizuno. Let a ball drop without laying everything out on the line. Just a miscue. Looks like Green bailed out a little bit too soon. Needs to stay in and play defense first. The lefty. Oh is just out for our sports performance. A side out here from Mizuno. It's a race to 15 here. Winner will be crowned the 16 Open National Champion. Working on the slide and it was successful for Ariel Amaya. Not into the net that time, Aaron, as everybody will switch sides. But the momentum clearly with sports performance. And just look how athletic she is. Just super quick on her feet. Lands really nice and composed. Keeps that body really controlled. Uses all the power generated from her core and her torque, which is when you activate that, that core, when you take a swing, you almost kind of turn it a little bit. You're generating power by doing that. She has a heavy arm swing already, so when she adds the whole body into it, it's hard to defend. Amaya, part of the group of four, going for their third straight national championship with this sports performance squad. Oh, great dig. No payout there on that one from Emery Dupes. And we're going to take a timeout here with A5 Mizuno calling the whistle. His team trailing by three, but on your. There he is. 
Stop Get reaching it. back. You're only allowed to reach back if you can play the ball 10 feet in the air. If you can't play it 10 feet in the air, stop reaching back, okay? This is just basic stuff, okay? Side out, be relaxed, be confident. Can you guys do that? Like you know how to play. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Gabe Ramey in there. Some final words of advice for his squad. We'll show you that reach he's talking about. You know, you never, if, when you're in the front row and you, you know, you block the ball, you don't want to reach back, but sometimes there, there's a players behind you and you just have to be super aware of what's going on so you don't touch that play. But a great front row attack for sports performance. Helps them sneak four points away. Five points from a national championship. That goes outside. Ooh. That one is just oh. up for Breland Borum. She wanted that one. Oh, man. It looked pretty, too. Technically, just overturned that shoulder a little bit. See how she finished way far outside, almost facing the back right corner of the gym. She's got to keep those shoulders parallel with the net as she finishes. Great dig. Oh, and that is out of bounds. All that effort by Dupes. You just get so upset when that ball goes out of bounds because she just lays her whole body on the floor. Alexis Rodriguez, the Nebraska-bound libero. Can't find her mark on that serve. And keep in mind, like, liberos are the ones that have decided where they're going to go. Normally, it's all the hitters. They usually have it all figured out. These two liberos are going head-to-head -head in this match. Playing some amazing volleyball, showing us some amazing defense and scrappiness. Whose hands were right there? Jackie Boney looking like, you know, just a normal day at the office here. And another timeout as we inch closer to that final. Let's listen in. You gotta also think about moving it back around. We're in transition, we're moving this way. Go back to the right side. The two balls you've hit out of bounds, it's because you've rotated, that's all. So if you don't rotate, you'll probably hit those inbounds. Just stabilize in the back row. All we can do is get a pass. Look, we're up by two. That means if we just side out every time, we win. So just get a pass, get in near the middle of the court, and let's go. All right, friends, four points away from this thing being settled out for sports performance if they can hang on. They drop that first set, clawed back in the second, and here we are with the team from Illinois with the advantage. Oh, great save, my lord. I love when setters set, side set. Just means that they know what they're doing. Zayna Meyer, great set. Unfortunately, player was in the net, but just brilliant setting. Pedal gets it over cleanly. Big swing and it's out again. And it's the right spot. Brooklyn Borum's attacking the, the correct area of the court. She just has to kind of change the angle up, go more for that deep corner, that five seam. And oh, Boney. Oh, great by Wilson. Trying to catch everybody on surprise. A little clunked up there. Off the hands of Rodriguez, nothing to the court behind us. A5 Mizuno taking the lead. push right here okay be smart okay be confident every single touch you have be confident holy cow that swing i need everybody to swing like that let's go Aaron, it's wild the emotions I, you're managing yeah, it, it's just it's crazy annabella talone for a5 mizuno here will serve the ball, her team out in front by a single point. Can't tip your way to a championship. You gotta hit the ball. You have to hit the ball. There you go, good swing. Great Pedal dig. Sets that one up. Ball at the net, laying out, trying to get it, but caught on their heels is Zena Meyer. Happy to see Breland Borum not hurt on that play. She fell backward. 
A little anxious there. That's the shot. Go deep five. Boney tips it back. Back row attack. Good dig there from Petal. Oh. Nobody tracked it down. Point sports performance. It's a great dig. Boney and Green just collided at that 10-foot line. Huge swing, though, out of the back row by Wilson. She can attack from anywhere. It's a good rotation for sports performance. Lemon into the net. Woo. We're back to high at 13. That's where she stepped it, okay? What? I'm trying to slide. She's been going slide. They're in a they're in a five one right now with her front row, so she has been going slide. Just get in. I'd probably get in front of her. If it's perfect, we'd probably just cheat this way. Does that make sense? And then make sure our right side blocker comes in, take the cross away, force them to hit line on the inside. Eric Vogt losing his voice throughout this match. He's got a wife back at home that's nine months pregnant. His team on the verge of winning another national championship. Can they close it out? Pedal sets up Lemons. That one's too far out. Match point, folks. Breland Borum with the serve for sports performance. We're going middle, and that is successful. Good swing by Boney out of the middle, set up by a perfect pass. Dupes out of the back row. Again, you cannot serve the libero. You have to move that ball around. Go outside. Great save. Meyer. On the Ooh. other end, that one's back out in the face of Dupes. Point to the kids from Illinois. Barely out of bounds by Dupes. I mean, using her whole body as a defensive shield. Great block, but geez, inches, inches away from going in. Can't fault a libero that just is so gritty like that and just sits underneath that hitter. We're back at match point, and then we're not because Boney again. Tough rotation for A5 Mizuno, though. This is the rotation they get stuck in and serve receive a lot. Row five. Back, and it is made. The point is counted for Meyer. And both defenses are playing just super flat on that back row. You have When you have big swingers like this and you have tall blockers, you have to take that middle back to the back row. I know that there's that gold medal square defense, but you have to pull that middle back back. Cannot have them camp out at that 10 foot line. Free ball comes over. Off the shoulder of Hayslip. And things get wacky. The ball touches the ground and it's sports performance. Who wins it all? Sports performance 16 elite. Avenges their loss to Mizuno from earlier in the season. They now get to call themselves 16 Open National Champions. The emotions are running at an all-time high. Eric Vogt gets to go home with a national title to his wife. An incredible run for this team who found themselves down after the first set, Aaron. Yeah, and just battled back. I mean, that's the thing. When you have disciplined players, players that can kind of do everything for you, you're, they're hard to defend. A5 Mizuno came out activating that middle early and often. Just really forced the ball to the middle in that first set. That's really what helped push A5 to that win. They were owning the net, blocking the ball really well, scoring points all over the court playing very good back row defense, but it was in the second set,
Sports Performance just kicked up their defense. They were relentless pursuit all over the floor. Emily Wilson came alive for the Sports Performance team, blocking at the net, digging, hitting out of the back row, going up at the front, being super efficient. And they just carried that momentum in the third set. A5 Mizuno gave us a little bit of glimpse of what they did in that first set into the third. But it was the power of sports performance and the leadership of the defense, especially Alexis Rodriguez, that helped this team come away with a national championship. And four of these members, Aaron, Alexis Rodriguez, Zaina Meyer, Brooklyn Borum, and Ariel Amaya, win three straight national titles here on championship court. This is how it all broke down by the numbers. Aaron, tell me what stands out to you the most. You know, honestly, these two teams, very low error volleyball. But when you look at who owned the net, it's all about sports performance. A lot of 